Hey everyone, today I want to discuss something that might seem a bit boring at first, but it's actually crucial if you're planning to build with AI models. It's licensing. Not all open source models are created equal, and the devil is in the details. Interestingly, a model called Quen 2.5 out of China's Alibaba is showing up more and more being a model that is improving itself and others in the open source world are improving it. Secondly, in the past day, I'd seen Perplexity post on Hugging Face a version of DeepSeek. They'd post trained this model, removing some of the China-centric rules. It can be downloaded or reused free as it's open source. But not all open source models are as open as you might think. There's three major players in the open source AI world and the different types of AI licenses. First up is Quen, which uses the Apache license. Think of Apache as the business-friendly license. Not only can you use it for pretty much anything, but it comes with a special bonus, patent protection. This means that if you post-train the model and invent something new, and you can patent it. You can protect your new invention as a derivative work. Next, we have the DeepSeek models running with the MIT license. MIT is also super permissive. You can basically do whatever you want with the model. But here's the catch. No patent protection. It's like getting most of the benefits of an Apache, but missing that safety net. So if you invent something new, you've got to add it to the main one that everyone can use. Now here's where it gets interesting. Meta's Llama models are released under a research license. This means you can use it and experiment with them for as long as you like. It's free to download. And as long as you're doing research on a small scale projects, it's fine. However, if you build a commercial product that becomes extremely popular, say if you reach say 700 million active monthly users, you must talk to Meta and get a commercial license which might involve paying fees. In short, while you can freely use Llama for learning and experimenting, turning it into a hugely successful business means you'll have to renegotiate the terms with Meta. So what does this matter? Let's talk sort of some real world implications. If you're a startup or a business using these open source models, Quen is probably your safest bet. No user cap, you get patent protection, and you can scale without any worries at all. All you need to do is give the proper credit, which is, I think, fair enough. With Llama, you might hit that ceiling. And 700 million users sounds like a lot, but if you're building the next big thing, do you want that sort of over your head? Yeah, I don't know. Here's an interesting twist. Some of the most truly open AI models are coming out of China, like Quen. They're embracing that spirit of open source. No arbitrary limits based on user count or success. There are other types of open source models with slightly different rules as well. But the power of open source is that the millions of nerds out there are finding ways and making these models smarter and smaller, needing less computer horsepower. And some of these models are benchmarking as good as some of the bigger models and on math and coding and some of these really, really important benchmarks. This might mean we might have something running on our phone. It also is looking like that some of these open source model nerds are finding ways that the AI can improve itself. A few of the open source models on Hugging Face are smarter, smaller, which means cheaper to run. And that's good for everyone. Remember when someone says it's open source, always check the fine print. The license you choose today could impact your project's future tomorrow. Go check on the hugging face. Some of the new Quen derivatives are getting great results. Remember, not all open source is the same.